Welcome to Electronica 2018, where I'm delighted to say that I've been joined by Danny Lil Pau and Simon Akhtari to talk about artificial intelligence. And great to see two exciting, innovative companies working together here on the ST booth. How did that come about? Well, Chris, I was demonstrating at uh, Embedded World 18 uh, uh, Cube.ai tool uh, that is uh, the, the great tool to convert automatically any customer provided neural network into an efficient library that runs on any STM32 MCU. I was demonstrating that functionalities to different people. I received the visit from Simon Aktari, Lenord and Bauer. And we started to chat, to chat together about Cube AI, demonstrating things, sharing the interest and well, we were on the same page and the story started. Right, great start to a happy marriage then, Simon, yeah? Yes, when I met Danilo at Embedded World, I immediately recognized the potential the tool has to offer, enabling us to implement artificial intelligence into our sensor solutions. And of course, I'm very happy to be here with a joint demonstrator here at Electronica in Munich. So have you guys been in lockdown working on experiments for months then? Yeah, we were in submarine mode for a lot of months since March. We did a lot of interaction. Simon was working hardly on collecting data, architecting networks. I was used to convert those networks, many of those using Cube AI. At the point, I was also bringing, by motivation, the tool and the boards home to convert overnight the networks and quickly providing support to Simon. Now, Simon, you're going to talk me through the demo. Just put it into context for me. Yes, so at Leonard and Bauer, we are developing and producing sensor solutions for mobility industry with focus on railway technology and also machinery tools for metal processing. For example, we are providing solutions for train maintenance. So you have, for example, a bogey, which after a certain amount of time experiences some material fatigue. And for safety reasons, we have to check regularly the state of the ball bearings. Up until now, we are doing these things in a complete manual approach, which means that we are analyzing the sensor output by hand and setting thresholds accordingly. But with Edge AI, we are creating a solution that can improve our efficiency enormously by just recording the sensor data, building up a database that re represents the machine conditions, training the neural network, and porting it to the microcontroller. So, this is it in action. Yes. Talk me through it. Okay. On the left side, you can see attached a sensor tile with a 3D accelerometer measuring the vibrations of the whole system. Now, with the small hammer on the right, we can induce more vibrations to the system. And also, what is very important is that we have the neural network, the artificial intelligence, directly on the microcontroller next to the sensor. Now, if I switch on the hammer, we see that the color of the LEDs is changing because the neural network recognizes the vibrations and classifies it accordingly. So now I can induce even more vibrations and we see the LEDs changing in color even faster than if we take a look here at the PC because we have to transmit and send the data to the PC where it's then visualized. And I understand there's something called edge AI involved in this. Yes, so artificial intelligence for a lot of people is uh, that you send a huge amount of data to the cloud where you have huge amount of processing capabilities, have huge neural networks analyzing your data. But edge AI means that you have the intelligence directly at the sensor level with, the, with low power consumption and very low latency, which is very important for our applications. Right, right, Danilo, bring Cube AI into this. At Embedded World 18, we were demonstrating the main functionalities of Cube AI. Um, since then, we did a lot of technical work to integrate those functionality in the tool that is called STM32 CubeMX. CubeMX is the tool that all the customers across the world use to map any software on the STM32. So we fused together the two functionalities, CubeAI into CubeMX, in order to start sampling that capability to some customer, the alpha customer, starting from October 18. And general release Q1 maybe next year? Yes, 
this is going to happen Q1 uh, 2019, the mass market will start receiving uh, through st.com the tool and so we'll uh, be free to use it. Well, it's great to see this partnership working so well together. It just shows you that events like this can bring together really innovative companies in that wonderful sort of synergy and partnership. It'd be great talking to you. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you.